Good evening, everyone. Lumina Dragon is back live again, and as you can see, my husband and moderator rundown zero and five isn't yet. And we are going to be continuing our look into the tales of the Dark Side Detective, and it looks like we have we moment. Chaotic Fox Queen in the chat. Thank you for popping in. <laughs> <laughs> And, and then you question why we call you adorable. I'm not adorable. <laughs> no. I'm gonna have to. Chat, agree with did that you statement. not just hear the sound oh, that cute. came out of this? <laughs> this fox queen's. <laughs> and we are gonna be playing some Dark Side Detective, so I am gonna load that up. And of course, let me make sure that. Have that visible. Hooray. Get us some point and click shenanigans with some tongue in cheek humor. <laughs> so again, this is the Dark Side Detective, starring you know, Detective Fred and Francis McQueen. And we have solved three cases so far, and we have three more here. I know that there are a couple bonus ones, I believe, um, as well as a whole second game, which we might j dive into, or, um, but I think we will likely be jumping into some other retro stuff after we work on these, but let's get into these cases. Okay, sorry, today is my day away from cases to catch up on paperwork. In other words, it's his day off. Which means it's not gonna be a day off. Damn. You ready, detective? Huh? For McNug McNugget's retirement party, the caterer has arrived with the cake. Grab your gift and let's go. Gift. I uh, can't touch this. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. My, 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 my music hits me so hard. Makes me say, Oh my lord, thank you. Oh, yes, of course. I am I have, I have, uh, a particular fan, also, too. I gotta get Giffy working on here. Um, yes, because we also need dancing orcs for that, really. How are you doing? I'm doing this fine. Um, I am glad to see you here. And we are getting on to our shenanigans here with Dark Side Detective. So, let's see. Are we at Officer Dooley here speaking to Detective Francis McQueen about a party that it looks like you might have forgotten about? I thought you'd forget. Don't worry. I put your name on my gift. It's from us. The folders of weird going ons in the Twin Lakes. Notes from open cases. Downtown Hooli Man. Possibly Undead Flasher. Mirror Jane. Ah, uh, yeah, I get. It. We're really lucky that our bedroom actually gets no direct sunlight at any point during the day, so summers are actually not bad in our house. Mayor Jane, a, wo a woman appearing in mirrors to other women who exactly like her. Lichen toupee, a wig made from werewolf hair, which turns into it turns others into werewolves when worn. Maybe they should be werewolves. This is my life now. All this dark side stuff is put to bed. I'm going to see the whole world. This is a Twin Lakes FM featuring me, Dick Brickman, bringing you Dick Brickman Presents the Weather. Me, Dan, Brickman, Dick Brickman. It's raining. Tune in later for me, Dick Brickman Presents Dick Brickman's Tricky Kicks. Featuring me, Dick Brickman. Trusty Goat. Goes with everything from shirt and tie to sportswear. I 
I could, oh, I, I could totally understand that. Because when you, when the weather's, when the weather is super hot and sticky, it, it does that. Various attempts to make file reports for things I've seen. Hurry up. Computer. Computer has been with me since the beginning. Budget won't allow for an upgrade. And yeah, I guess we are. Our water cooler. Bust ceiling fan. This is broken. Maybe the motor is but I'll have to look at this later. Coffee. <laughs> Nothing beats the first cup of coffee if only I had a slice of pie to go with it. Less of cold refreshing. No, but it's warm. And oddly colored. a pottery wheel? It's full of signed pictures of the king. Figures. Best hair on the force? Okay, I'll give him that one. This one looks homemade. Best at not being the queen. The king won this for being the best diver on the force. I don't recall anyone else being allowed to partake. Has an off button. Impressive. It supports Vax. Fancy. I like that I'm just gonna go take stuff from somebody else's office. Seems Murakami has set up a new high score on every point. Damn it, how am I meant to get better than him? Talk working. Friend, is it? What's it ski? Go away. Deeper finger. Fire? I meant to say surprise detective, not fire. Julie, the gifts are on fire. They sure are impressive. I've told you detectives before, I can't solve every little thing for you. Honestly, it's I've uncovered a crime ring. This, and I've lost my gun that with you lot. Well, not today. I'm relaxing and having a drink. But in silence, detective. In silence. Cake. I'm gonna devour that thing. Hands off, officer. We're not cutting into it yet. But chief! Really? Is this cake really more important than the fire? Actually, who brought fire? We discussed this last time. No more gifts on fire. Goddamn cops thinking they're Prometheus. Hey, I want an extra cream on my slice. There's no time for reading whiteboards. I love all the booze we have in these things. What about the to keep your company when you're complaining to yourself, Gilroy? <laughs> like the old gypsy woman said. I look at these gifts are on fire and nobody seems to care. They have drunken cops?
get that in that mysterious Chinese shop we visited last week investigated we didn't get investigated it for gremlins that seems like racial profiling to me Julie he clearly had gremlins which you then brought bought and brought to the station well then case closed Julie the lid was burnt off the gremlins are missing and the station is crumbling apart. Well, like I said, case closed. Julie, we need to find them before somebody gets hurt. Here, take this. But cake! From what I can see, nobody else got him anything nice anyway. said, hey, that's my kid's candy, give it back. So I told him I was the mayor's husband, and then he showed me, and showed him my badge of fine for obstruction of justice. Oh, you're so bad. I don't have time to talk to you. Isn't there a Wookiee or something you should be arresting? That's not what... Whatever, McLean. Live long and prosper, dork. Must be great for you to have such a real detective like me came around to learn from. Staff bathroom. So horrible, people only enter for the most dire of emergencies. Evidence room. Something's broken in the evidence door and probably your psychic's fault. I'm gonna fix it with my manly skills and muscles. If you really want to help, you can go fetch me some more coffee. No need for sugar. Dallas is sweetness enough for me. Oh, he's that bad. I hate that man. But he's so dreamy. Sure. I knew you were good for something, McLean. Laxatives. Somebody put them there to suggest us cops are all full of twin legs. Police department, how can I help? How can I direct your call? Now that I don't need it, I find a working extinguisher. Yummy, yummy wires. It's trying to hack the database and steal a human info. We should fry them. Interesting idea. Talk to detective. The system's broken. I can't figure out why. My touch. Don't get too close, detective. That thing's a fighter. He just. I just. Yeah. Thanks, Dolly. Thumbs up. I 
can dispatch. I dispatched the entire horse of the chief so I was trying to order myself some late night pizza. And we get a body pin. I was hoping they'd put the, ha the helmet on me, but... Alright. Oh, hi, puppers. He's meant to be a sniffer dog, but somebody decided to train him only to sniff out candy. I think of all the candy-related crimes he's been able to help solve. True, we did have an alarming high rate of candy smuggling in Twin Lakes. Good job, officer. Guys in police protection for informing. <laughs> it's a rat. <laughs> Put that up there to cover the hole the prisoner dug to escape. Sadly for him, he dug his way into the rest of the station. Hi, hose. Hello, Demonomaniac. How are you doing? I'm glad to see you. We are going through this, uh, our, our haphazard uh, police station. Come on. <laughs> Put that giant wheel in your pants. The hose they used to loop through the cell uh, door handle to lock up the place up at night. Officer Scully really pulled this place into some sort of order, didn't she? Screwdriver. I'm always more of a lateral thinker. Just need to find something to rewire this. Hey, let's just use the headphone wires. Okay, let's see. I need to drag these wires from one node to the uh, same color without crossing them.
year. Out. Let's get it out of here. Yeah, no, 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 I hear you. This is the first place of actual police work seen in this place today. Alright. So we bend down to the garage, and here's the shooting range. Yeah, I should have figured this one out. Oh, hello there. How did it get a gun? Why is everything so unsafe in the station? Yes, looks like our guys good. Looks like our guys are as good enough to shots to be stormtroopers. Supply. King, the King's Trophy is actually working for an airtight helmet. I found a tube. I can get this back in action. Oh, alright. Oh. I don't know why we're going to need a diving helmet, but that's okay. It's a magnet. Now it's broken for a reason. tell you a particular uh, moderator of mine would not, it would not be happy with it.
Oh. <laughs> uh... Here, you can have another coffee. I could drink this all day. Oh. I like the fact that... Uh, currently, I, I have gremlins. We are going after gremlins, and I just gave somebody laxatives, and there was a stomach gurgle there for a moment. I am not playing the zombie game as of right now. We are dealing with gremlins, like I said. Alright, so let's go the ups and down. Fix my manly skills with finding my way into Cheetah's magnetic lock. Which is... Good that we actually have a lock. A, a magnet lock. This should reverse a pro. Oh! Magic tome. I hope this legal magic tome will be okay here when the doors bust. for sending McKay, uh, McKing on his dirty timeout. I don't any longer. Plastic skull. Surprisingly more dangerous old cub with all you done than a, a real skull. All that remains from the mysterious walking luggage that ate everything case. Cast grenades. This could be handy if I want to be able to leave that party early. Some way to knock it out? Well, we could always just use the grass grenade on it. Well, then let's put this on. <laughs> We're basically gonna be doing some goblin fumigation. Still has a gun. Perception and let's see, is there anything in the holding cells I was missing? Doesn't look like it. Somewhere they would screwdriver. Do you, uh, 
uh, who do you think wrote these dumb scripts for for a comedy game about two cops investigating weird crimes? Nothing? Nobody? Shut up. What? Detective, can you see I've got the reception desk to accept that? Yeah, we know these people that need our help. It's too bad that there's a bunch of them just kind of hanging around having a party. We got a little friend here, but this is a basement. Okay. Shooting range. Actually, is there a way? Not ah, construction site. There we go. Spare pipes in the work that's happening. Water valve. Oh, okay. Hold cold hard clay. I have no use for this right now. You don't look very busy. Power tools bust, so the union says I don't work. Not my place to go against the union. You seem familiar. Don't know you? Not that I know of, no. Oh, this? Ain't nothing really. Just a book I got from the library. Huh. Proper steamy stuff, this. Julie, is that. Is that you on the cover in a Fabio wig? I, um... Those critters aren't gonna catch themselves, are they, detective? Julie. This is what happens when I can't talk my way out of late fees. Those are monsters to- There are monsters to catch, detective. Mind if I borrow this? Why not? I can't see, see me getting back to work anytime soon. that if I didn't remove this now, it'd fall off soon anyway. Neither of us believes that, but I'm so into this. Fight the system. Totally, we're part of the system. Do for yourself, I'm bringing this place down to the inside. I, I kind of knew that. I didn't expect that to happen. Feel bad about it? No. I don't think this is my trophy cabinet. It to be repaired, yeah. Second one, Detective, how are you gonna get all these things into your, your pockets? Origami? <laughs> Let's say the Vemper Fugas and Maverick Cop was crawling around through it. I 
hit with this. I think I need to find another way to make use of it. Well, I was thinking about you using that as a shield. Great. The junction box is broken, electricity is just spraying out. As if this place wasn't broken enough already. I should be. Alright. You should just sit over and get the trouble with Shredek to see your nipples. Okay, yeah, let's get back to the office so somebody sees us. Okay, we'll lock these suckers into their, into their new urn and, get, and then get back to the party. Party! back in the <laughs> oops oops is that it what do we do now flush them down the toilet and go back to the party we need to make a new urn a magical one that can actually hold them again uh, what's that chief I'll be right there don't you dare Please caps it or not. A magical tome taken from the library. Alright. Stairwell, shooting range, bathroom. Monomaniac. In there. I'd be amused as hell as if we had to put her in the car. Let's see where else can we potentially shove these. This is good urn making material. You're not wrong. Oh yeah. Okay, good. Good. We were on the right I was on the right track with that. So now we can go to somebody's office and borrow his bombery wheel. Let's go you put some of this warm, discolored water on it. Take her 
Great, we actually had use for the water cooler. Alright, let's do this. I see you know how to make an urn. I watch that film Ghost a lot. For research. place a mess. What did you do do? Well, there was... And, uh, we... Somebody let go of a grass grenade. Nasty big pointy teeth. The car was smashed when we got there. The king did it. <sighs> Another one to file under dark side antex. Probably for the best, yes. Okay, well you two better start cleaning. The budget doesn't allow for both your capers custodial staff. Oh man, chores and no cake. This day did not play out the way I hoped. Alright, so case four is done. Now we are on to the lock mess. Dooley and, and his blood wolves are attending a jamboree, but the kids rang, in, uh, rang me in a panic saying something fishy was going on. It's basically they're like Boy Scouts. Like 
campsite got its name uh, got its name as it was the site of a terrible massacre. It's also the site where those angry, angry spirits were laid to rest. Unconnected, it's also the site where the terrible tragedies happened each year. And where kids go on vacation to do fun blood and activities. It fills my heart with joy to see them play, and with fear because everything here is so awful. He oh, huge fangs it has, or tendrils, maybe even a big sucker thing. Oh, and wings. If oh, if you saw them, you'd probably they're probably wings. They may hit the fins though. Tell at a distance. The stands are well over a certain height, tall, and weighs an amount. You can be sure of that. Have you ever seen it? With my own eyes. Sorry, that was meant to be a question. With my own eyes? No, no, I have not. Has anyone ever seen it? Oh, they love to tell of it? No. How many people is rumored to have been taken? Rumored? Many? Proven? None. Right. A fiend it is. But a wondrous attraction for the region. Each day I'm torn between Jamie being the evil beast that brings much business, and Jamie the monster kills, probably. Seriously, how did you get this job? I married it into a powerful tourism family. One son is talking to Twin Lakes, to a Twin Lakes native. Jamie said, nobody is going to come all this way to talk to you. Yeah, I'm here for other reasons. So. Gone. His bunk wasn't even slept in. Aliens must have taken him. Followed by a bear, I bet. Let's lead to conclusions. When was the last time you saw him? We had nighttime hot chocolate, then he went to the office to, I don't know, do office things. I guess we start there then. We? I don't do entire cases solo. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Just convenient sections. Come on, we got us a dually to find. Jack Turner, Devin's father. I just want to check in that the boy is doing okay, not struck too wide-eyed by all that nature, I hope. He's uh, fine. Sorry for calling up. Jack is a warrior. Are you on the other line, Barbara? I'm just making a little call, Barbara. Just checking in on the lad, eh, Barbara? He'll be fine, Jack. There's no need to keep calling. Just leave him to have a good time. Yes, well, no such thing as no protective parent now, is there? wet and reads. Very real jamboree this weekend. Dooley's pack should come. They are the best pack and will win the jamboree, which is real. Something smells fishy. It's a flower. Uh, a flyer. Instinct's a fish. This is a sticker saying, the truth is around here somewhere. I'm guessing this belongs to Dooley. This is an odd thing for a holiday camp to have. This is, uh, this is Betty. It's like Senny, but better. Hello, Amelia Devon, the only detective. Why is the talking room? How does he know my name? We did say it was better than Senny. How can I help you today? Nothing. If Master Julie wanted to know his secrets, he'd have given me the password. I'm Betty. I'm Betty. I'm wandering up there. 
and call it signals and search for extraterrestrial life. Yeah, like Zeddy, I get it. Zeddy is a moron. I speak 13 languages, I'm a chess master, and figured out the meaning of life. The meaning of life? Yes. But Dilly deleted that to make more room for his TV shows. Oh, I have a cat. Hold on just a moment, please. You, come on. Come over here. She's kind of standing right. Come here. Come on. There. That is 78% wrong. Only 78%? There are things in the night, Detective. That's reassuring. That statement is 93% likely, likely to be a lie. What? Two he leaves. Keep telling Julie to stop by knockoff posters. Oh, it's on and Julie's logged in. I'm not proud of this, but maybe I can find some clues. Those are good times. Don't worry, buddy, I'll find you. Empty folder. Looks interesting. Greetings from the blood world. You and your pack, I guess, are invited to the 100% legitimate jamboree at campsite this weekend. You have to come. You must. Nigel. Hello, blood world. No need to look it up. There's a file here called password. Let me see. So the password is password. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't guess that. Is pretty much empty. Seems to be hanging out at Deluminati.com forum. There's an open thread. Dear Deluminati, the, gom the government are trying to use my brainwaves to hunt me down so that they can pester me into film work. How can I protect myself? There's a guy that keeps bumping his post and pinging duly. All of his posts are signed uh, Nigel, fellow human for realsies. Starting to see a pattern here. It was Nigel. gigahertz ultra high frequency radio station signal essentially the internet but what stop trying to cyber patronize me machine all you have to do is, is say it was a fancy internet where did it lead him across the lake to the signal source which was i'm afraid i don't know i didn't go i have no legs i need that info if you won't tell me i'll have to commandeer it I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dave. Ahem. Detective. Yeah, Step aside, mister. Time to put my uppity AI badge to use. Wait. What? Wait. Why do you even have a badge like that? Blood Wolf Secret, sorry. And if you don't know- If you don't have a needs to know in case of a needs to know basis badge- Oh, just do whatever you're gonna do. You see, the search of the map and the places the signal bounce through. I'll lock it- I'll lock them in and- once we have enough of them, we should be able to have a blood alpha, uh, a rope that blood alpha do we talk. Thank you. 
Oh, me again. Just want to make sure we were aware of the devil's electric technology bitten by a toaster once. He left his EMP device at home. I wouldn't sleep a wink thinking he'd come out there in the tech field of the wilderness without knowing that your EMP is up and running. In fact, maybe you should send me the, uh, the make and model number. Hello? La Barbara? I think the line has gone dead. Dorms. Marshmallows called Uncle Groovy's Squidgy Delights here. Charming. Hey, my secret stash. Give me, give me, give me. This is the only place has been cleaned up since last time I was here. Crime solving for boys. Blood rules of America doesn't exist. Don't ask questions and go on about your lives. Almost more than me, posters. Let's see. Hi! Hi, kitten. Miss Lilith is being needy, so I'm just gonna give her a couple treats here. Let's see if this will get her to relax a little bit. Here. Uh, I just literally put them down in front of you. Here. There. I have a couple of those. You gotta want the wolf. We don't have time for blow ins. Bundle of various costume parts and kid sizes. Sticky cues of solidified sugar. A big hit with the kids. Let's go back outside. Go to Lakeside. No gas can. It's empty because I emptied it. Let me guess. To start a fire? No. Poured it out of Devin's bed so everything he peed himself. But, I gotta make sure the other pack don't, don't want to poach it in from us. Got enough food to wait for this beast for days. All kept nice and fresh in tinfoil. Eager to see a monster. We are 100%. We are 100% of Twin Lakes' cryptozoology club. We're always on the hunt for lake monsters, sewer gators, krakens, and around winter yetis. People know this. There's a lot of strange things happening in Twin Lakes. Believe you me, I know. Ha, ah, sorry, guy, but the cops don't know anything about what's really going on here. Yeah, go back to getting kittens out of trees and leave the real detecting detectiving to us. Do you not have something better to be doing? Nope. Not a thing. No boat, no gas, and a hole. We need to fix it if we want to use it to fall to fall this map across the lake. Maybe we can use the marsh for us. Very much not scout badges, best not to ask. Time for you to have food yet, Miss Kitten.
fire. Sometimes they's here, sometimes they's ain't. But you're here. Oh, sorry, I didn't know yous was the people police. I thought's not. What do you work on here? Working with kids suits my sunny disposition. Go ahead. I got a little up here. Go ahead. And there she goes. Cups, and a Colonel Mustard's poison custard, and a box of Rataway right radiation removal powder. Well, it says it all. Can of dehydrated eggs, and bloods. You expect me to find a chicken every time that I need to make an omelet? I use those to cut down its hair. That's why I wear this cap. Middle cups. Take Alright, well that's oops. Wrong direction, actually. Let's see. Let's oh, see that's brand new. Else needs no pots to microwave a meal. Gotta take one? Whatever, I don't want some. from 10 years ago, I can tell because it's still that pricey. Stand back, it's time for me to summon up some fire juice. Good work, I guess. Now I'll hand it over. What? Give me the gas can. I should have known you were on their side. Alright, now let's put marshmallows in the pot. Up. Oh, yes. Well, it's down good. Melt into the ground. So 
plague is sick now. Go team. Just write danger on all your paperwork. Oh. We have to go, mister. We have to. It's against my better judgment, but then most things I do are. And you get. Hands off the camera. We're rolling. It's a Polaroid camera. An unnamed, an unmanned Polaroid camera. Doesn't matter. Dick Brickman will get his man on Monster on Tape. Rest assured that I am not going anywhere until I do. Unless I have a reason to believe the monster was hiding somewhere else. Hey, I recognize you. Dick Brickman here reporting from here. The place I am to you. Wherever you are. From the Twin Lake News with me, Dick Brickman. What are you doing here? Hi, Dick Brickman. I'm here to report that the news and news of the day said there was a monster living in this lake. It's not really breaking news, is it? People have been talking about this thing for this supposed, this supposed monster for an age. Breaking news. Police admit to knowing about the monster for, and I quote, an age. How did you get here? I don't see a boat. You can't keep the press out, and I, Dick Brickman, am the press. What's the scoop on the monster? We're here and live at the scene. The investigation has taken us thus far. But what we see is this is where the monster lives. We finally get a signed photo of the creature. Tune in as soon as I, Dick Brickman of the Twin Lakes News, have absolutely anything to share. You know there's no audience here. You have no need to talk like your mid broadcast. Breaking news, Dick, Detective, you're here. An audience of four. Audience of four or four million. The news has to be heard. Don't forget to tune in to Twin Lakes News with me, Dick Brickman, for the thrilling conclusion of this week's Dick Brickman Investigates featuring me, Dick Brickman. Where I, Dick Brickman, will follow any lead on the creature. Any lead at all. I bet there are monsters in that forest. Let's hope not. If I tried that, I could hate that. You know, I was hoping that would be. I wonder what secrets this forest hides. Not that I have really. Not that I have any real urge to find out. Nothing in here. No sorry. I guess we should keep looking then. Really are to be stirred. Seem to be a cave behind that obviously fake cover. Let's go! Hey, you guys should guard out here. Okay, I'm gonna mess up anyone who comes near. Uh, truthy, you invited me here to help with the problem. Right. Are you done? Can we go? No, and uh, no. I need Dooley's help. Dooley.com and he are famous in truthy circles, you know. What's the problem? The government wants me because I'm a monster, a talking monster. Frankly, I'm surprised you haven't noticed. Anyway, I need protection. Like a gun? Look at this guy. Let's solve everything by shooting it. I don't even own a gun. Stop talking about guns. I'm sensitive about my lack of fingers. They need to chase off that narc outside. They're closing in on my door fast. Narc, you mean the, the reporter? Clearly a government spy. No, we get rid of him. And once he's gone, what you need 
Nigel is a mind hat that keeps you off their trail. A mind hat? A protective layer of some kind of metal, maybe aluminum? Do you mean a tinfoil hat? That sounds perfect. That'll stop you from using your mind waves to locate you. Genius, I knew you'd be able to help. Nigel is hiding out somewhere else. Get them off his tail. Open to the same um, form pages as Dewey's machine was, and the keys are damp. Very damp. Sticky tape, a staple in every adventurer's tool kit. Oh, fake jamboree signs and stages of readiness. Lack of hands explain the childlike nature of the posters. Nothing explains how we got a crab's table and get Peter in here. Well, how do you like that? It's my human disguise. That's how I got to the camp and convinced Dooley to, co in, in, to come in with me. I was certain he was another blood elf. Very believable. Someday I hope to work in a film makeup department. I think I have a knack for it. Seafood takeaway wrapper. Judge me. Hi. It's a monster. Talk to monster. I don't know what to talk about it. They're all God's creatures, I guess. Is that right? I don't have much religious stuff on the sea. I just read the books I st borrowed from the campsite. I'm not sure. What are you doing in Twin Lakes? It has good dental plants, but you don't have teeth. If I did, this would be the place to be. Get down. I think that's an unfair way to describe luring somebody to a place under cold street does. Crapping to them in the indicated captain's lair and refusing to let them leave. Why do you think the government is going to die? Hollywood. I think you think CGI and monster movies are all the rage these days. But I'm not interested in the life of fame. I prefer to work in, a, in makeup and make the real stars shine. Okay. All right, so. Okay, gang, good news is that Julie is inside and safe. Bad news is that he can't come out yet. Why not? Uh, there's, um, it's a blood alpha test. It's for your don't ask questions badge. Yes, I've been waiting for that one for ages. Let's do it. I bet that cave has spiders in it. And bats. And bat spiders. I want to pet the bat spider. Do cave moths have cave teeth and cave tongues too? Alright, so... Lakes news with me, Dick. Okay, I don't have any new options. Alright, let's Goodness, my- Oh my, breaking news! The monster has been sighting elsewhere! This is me, Dick Brickman, signing off so I can sign back on another day from another bay. He left his camera. Guess I should bring it back to Lost and Bound? Is the heart gone? 
he's gone. Is the hat ready? Not yet. There's no time to waste, Detective. We need to make that adaptive protection device. I mean, there's nobody here. I don't see this have the urge to find out. Say whatever Bigfoot says when they're having their pictures taken. Wait. Would that be Big Feet? Big Feets? <laughs> They're cooler. Food and tinfoil. I'll have some of that. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Alright. So we can see that we should put together our tinfoil hat. It's puzzling time! Hello, Tar Fantastica! How are you? And yes, we, we, we need to make our, uh, our monster friends a tinfoil hat. Um, probably poorly, but you never know. I think I'm... That's I think good. I'm in a place where I can weather it, whatever comes from it, but yeah, it may be rough. But we'll see. Oh, thank you, Just both of you. Here, pull that here, and pull up a tinfoil hat. Um, Eat. in completely unrelated. <laughs> I better take this back to the cave and give this a nut. Well, it was definitely something to do with, uh, with that particular game. Alright, so here's your hat. Very quiet. All right. Hello. Hopefully, that's a little bit better. Let's see. Is that any better? All right. Let me turn the game down a little bit more. See if that's any better. Yeah, the game went from not making any sound at all to being too loud. There we go. Hopefully that Awesome. Okay, okay. That's that seems like it's going to be much better. All right, so n now Nigel now has his tinfoil hat. Of course, just email me hard to trace locations like phone booths, coffee shops, and the uh, Mariana Trench. Okay then, thanks again, Julie. Mm. Poor guy, I hope he shakes off those government narcs. Julie, we're government narcs. Speak for yourself, I don't tell the man nothing. Oh no! What did you do? <laughs> you 
made a mistake, what'd you do? It's good to have you back, Julie. The petrol. Looks like you're staying with us for a while. S'mores all around. Who's the bloodiest wolves around? Who keep their sniffers to the ground? We do! We do! Oh no! You just went. Well, I mean, cake could be a good thing! I just came back from the kitchen. I saw her cake plate there and decided I may as well use that than dirtying another. I mean, that makes sense. She informed me after that it was- oh no! Oh no! Is the cat the plate- the, the, it's the plate the cats get their wet food on every night. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, that's not good. I just hit a whole- oh! I mean, the question is, did the- is the cake okay? Like, did it taste alright? And don't mind me, I've just been kind of mowing down on dinner while playing as well. So it looks like we have another case here. This one is called Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. No, no, no. I get it. I totally get it. It's one of those things, especially when you hear about it afterwards, like, uh, damn. Let's see. Chief summoned us all to the debriefing room about a Code Red citywide issue. Is everyone here? Good. There are riots all over the city. So it's all hands on deck. I mean you too, McLean. Time to do some real police work. Are you sure your iffy st stomach is able is able to handle for it? You do stop it. Officer Murakami was wounded in the field and he's been cleared by medical to give us a briefing on what's happening out there. Thanks, Chief. Guys, I've not seen anything like this before. Hordes of angry citizens shambling around, attacking one another, and smashing up the place. It seems so mi it all seems so mindless. We don't even know what's causing this behavior, but we need to get out there and stop it. Be careful out there and good luck. Squad dismissed. Dick Brickman here, reporting live from City Hall, where I, Dick Brickman, am slowly being approached by a hungry-looking politician. Mr. Politician, all reports suggest that the uh, city is in a state of panic. Can I get a response? Yeah. See well, party line. When will these politicians liven up their acts? Local cat saves firemen from tree. No, oh, okay, he's just repeating all that dialogue. Better get Dilly and hit the road. Ooh, we got multiple places to check out. Let's go to the museum. Why is the door smashed in? It looks like a break in. Looters? Maybe. They tend to go for televisions, it's not tapestries. Let's check it out. 
There seems to be an Egyptian themed display at the mo Oh dear. Wee, these Egyptians are big. Those pictures aren't to scale. I knew that. An impressive specimen. There seems to be something stuck in there, but it's too far for me to reach. After watching extensive her, uh, historical footage, <laughs> Twin Lakes researchers believe this beast escaped a Costa Rican theme park in the early 90s. Presumed cause of death is drowning, as its tiny arms wouldn't have been great for swimming to the mainland. Wow, a team here must be on top of the field. Short skeleton, an eight probably. What a fine is as you're learning this is. This is what a plastic skeleton looks like. Scientists think there may have been what a human body was modeled on. Fascinating. It's locked. I wonder if I can open it somehow. What on earth? It looks like a mummy. Uh. Accept her. Accept her? I don't even know her. Wait, what were we talking about? Smashed cabinet. Looks like there's ju some jewelry missing. Black says gem of Osiris. Osiris? The Egyptian death god? I can't help but think that that's tied to what's going on across the city. Gee, you think? Prophagus. This must be where the mummy came from. Old Egyptian rod. Look, detective. It's got a fancy fire. It's, it looks like a fancy fire poker. Maybe some other money? I don't think that it's interested in anything you can't eat. Stone tablet. You must be pretty sick to try swallowing that medicine. I think our cold car is old enough to be on an ex exhibition here. Alright. I wonder if I can use this to dislodge whatever you eat. There we go. Must have been Tony Rex's last meal. Tony? The T... I, the T has to stand for something. This might work as a makeshift lock baking kit. Very fragile kit. Maybe if I match these bones to the tumblers in the lock, I'll be able to open the cabinet. Okay. Oh, nope. This one hit. There we go. There you are. Well, that seems to be it. Now let's see what's inside. A jar of pickled brains. I prefer pickled onions myself. A collection of earwax gathered from the museum staff. I have Newt. There's an old note that says, Borrowing for soup will return ASAP. Since we filled with wasps, living angry wasps. Small jars, contact lenses, urine sample found on site. Such full of old invoices. Contains a drawing of some jam. Some bad juju. There you go. Yum. Giving him the brain. The giving the brain to him will achieve nothing. I mean.
I figured if he was gonna eat it, he could go get some sleep. He can go s get some sleep. I think I could, yeah. Well, how do I? I don't like museums. They're just graveyards for old stuff. I put it in here to trap a minute. There we go. Sorry, pickle brain, but you take care of some undead business. So don't actually give it to him. Put it in the place so that you can lure him in there. There we go. That has a case closed pun in there somewhere, but there's just no time. I don't think we'll find anything else of note here. Let's go to the next crime scene. All right. This is where you got McNuggets er, re retirement urn. What a fun party. We spent the entire time chasing around monsters. Chasing memories, you mean? There's a stringless tennis racket here. Nothing else here but take out containers and dirty magazines. Pause. Nah, they couldn't be. Help them trapped. Get rid of them. The trinkets. What the hell? Monkey paws all came to life. Not feeling so lucky now. I hope that the city riots aren't all undead related. Less worry, more screw. More scary. Get rid of them. Oh, well. It's a use of some fun. How I get? Oh, that's sharp. That might be useful. Given my current predicament, I'm starting to think none of these lucky charms work. Oh, Dreamcaster used for trapping nightmares might be useful in this nightmare. Lantern. Nice lanterns. A shop like this runs on amb ambiance. 80% of all sales are because customers can't unsee what they're can't see what they're buying. Is that skull real? That's the skull of the previous uh, shop owner. Her will stipulated I keep it on display at all times. this? Chinese puzzle box. I can't figure out how to open it. No idea what's inside. Large trunk. Large trunk with a sturdy log. It's empty inside. What the? Oh yeah, well, let me figure out what else, what to do with them. I think I need a way to catch them, not bash them. we got here. There we go. Now let's go ahead and put them in that trunk. And, that, and this area is uh, locked down. Thank goodness you came, officers. I don't know how else I'd have this. You guys. They couldn't send some other cops? The whole force is busy. This is harassment. You called us. Hello again, Wang. Wang? Who's Wang? My name is uh, Detective McQueen. So if you've got the wrong guy. What happened here? My lucky rabbit's foot, the monkey paws, the body out back, all started moving. Body out back? I never said that. You've got no proof. 
Julie, you hear him? Hmm? What's happening? I tuned out. You were asking so many questions. <sighs> All this started not too long after my store was robbed last night. Tell me more about the robbery. Last night, some goons floated in. They smashed the place up and took an entirely legal ritual components. Ritual components doesn't sound legal. Good thing for me that the evidence was stolen then. Floated in? Yeah, floated in a green haze. That sounds like Darksiders to me. I don't think we'll find anything else here, Dooley. I'm not sure what Darksiders are doing here, but we need to get to the next crime scene. We have reports of break-in at Dawn's old mansion. Let's check it out. Detective, the city's in, uh, in chaos. Sure, we're, be we're better at things to focus on than derelict building. We don't know who they are or why they broke in. This mansion belongs to a mafia Dawn. For all we know, there's a, a hidden weapon cache in here. Given how crazy things are across the city today, whatever they want, we had better make sure they don't get it. The law does reply, uh, apply to us, just not in this particular case. These things remind me of some of the people we've met in our cases. Strange equipment. This must belong to whomever is in there. This stuff looks dangerous. I better power it down for now. Do anything okay, so let's see. Damn sign. I don't see why it's condemned, it looks perfectly fine sign to me. Sir, you can't be here, this place is condemned. Brains. That's not right. Is there somebody there? Yes, are you okay? I'd be a lot better if I wasn't trapped in here by that thing. Uh Hold on, we'll do something. Right, well, we need something to... Sink, liquid's so dark and stinky, I wouldn't put my hand on there for any reward. Cutlery drawer, no silver, nice interceptions, or sharp objects, how conveniently inconvenient. Seems to remain of a long, wrong, long forgo uh, forgotten roast chicken in here. It is not edible, Dooley. <sighs> oh. Somebody half cleaned this cup. I'm sure they won't mind me taking me taking their sponge. We can use these at the blood, blood wolf camp. Somebody ruined our pots by melting marshmallow all over them. Or what? Somebody what? Those monsters. Various supplies, including candles. I think I'll take one. Can't open this one. Wonder what treasure inside. Not enough to force it open, however. Oh! I got a cat sitting on my mouse again. Come here, darling. You are determined to be a pain in the butt tonight. Excuse me, Lilith. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Because these chicken nuggies are not yours. They are mine. And the fridge. Ugh, what a stink. Somebody forgot to clean up the fridge when this place was condemned. Anything in there I can eat? Dooley, it's all rotten. But I'm so hungry. You made things sound so urgent. I skipped second breakfast. This is urgent, Dooley. Fine, but after all this, you're buying me pancakes. I 
think I'll try something else. I'm gonna need something else to get the steel wool to light well. Blood wolf trick. Combine a battery with steel wool to make a fire starter. Oh, Emily taught me that. That's plausible. The fire starter. Twisted fire starter. God. If I like this, well, it's still in my pocket. It'll burn my coat. Alright, so then we're going to put you on the table. Yes, it is very unfortunate to find out about that plate. I'll just leave it here. There we go. Now, you'll f now you finally sit on the table and we're gonna light you up. You should be able to burn through the rope in a suitably slow and dramatic fashion. Uh-oh. It's, uh, safe to come out now. Detective, is now a good time to mention I'm allergic to fire? Roxa? You guys, I owe you big time. What are you doing here? Actually, for no reason, no reason at all, we should go outside before you tell us. Thanks for saving me back there. Are you okay? And thanks to you guys. What's with the getup? I'm a spook to, uh, I'm a inspooker now. Uh, since I keep finding myself at where going on, I license myself a franchise. And there was a localized storm here last night, so I thought that meant something was happening after the events at the library. Good catch. Is that your equipment? It is! It's the spooktometer. Do you like it? It reads for spooktivity. I brought it with me to help get readings, but... And I got trapped in that room and didn't get to look at the readings yet. Trapped by that creature? Later, yes, but not at first. There were there were people here searching the place. Their accents were hard to understand, but they were looking for the dawn. But he's been dead for a while. Yeah, they left when they realized that. I waited here a while to make sure they didn't come back, but then that thing bust through the floor and I was trapped again. So what did the reading say? That's odd. The battery is missing. Thankfully, there's a printout I inside. Give me a second while I open it up. Wow, lots of spooktural uh, readings. Whoever, whatever was looking for the dawn, they weren't human. I mean, they probably could have been, but this hasn't been the game that's taken the logical step in, ev in, in most cases. I am going to try to keep trying to stay hydrated, and yes, this is water, not soda. Dooley, I just figured it out. The Darksiders aren't looking for, some, for something at the Dawn's house. They were looking for the Dawn. But you said he was dead. Which is why they took the Gem of Osiris and the ritual components. They're trying to resurrect him. Wow, Detective, that's an amazing coincidence that every place the Chief sent us was tied to and so tightly with what's really going on. If we had been sent to even one different location, you may have never pieced it all together. There's no time to work out the undoubtedly small possibility of things having worked out like this. We need to get to the graveyard, and fast. We can't let him return. You should probably leave too, Roxa. Because of that fire you started? Fire? What fire? You must be seeing things. Probably starved from being inside. Bad for the mind. Make sure to eat something when you leave, which you should do now. For food. Not fire. Ahem. I think that went smoothly.
I wonder if we can get an overview of the situation from here. It's what I fear. The place is swarming with zombies. These must be the Darksiders we've, we, we've heard about. They're firing at somebody inside the church. I can't make out who, though. Look, Julie, over there. There's some bad mumbo-jumbo happening at the crypt. We need to stop them before, uh, from bringing the dawn back. Okay, Julie, let's go. Uh, uh. No doubt about it, they're zombies, alright. Looks like we're not getting in that way. I hope that gate holds. We're far too eager. They're far too eager a welcoming party. Need this night stick to keep you might need this night stick to keep the welcoming party at bay. Finally, a positive application for police brutality. Oh my god. Well, hand broke off, but it doesn't seem to care. Might need another way in. Okay, so looks like we're gonna have to go right. by this massive dumpster. I wonder if there's another manhole on the other side of the wall. Get this in position and get it. Wow, it looks like it's stuck the wheel so you can bust it. Right. Here's one for you, Do Dooley. How many cops does it take to change a light bulb? No idea, but thankfully it's working, so it's not our concern. Also, streetlights fall under the city maintenance department and not the police. I thought you'd have known that, detective. I would, Detective, but I put my back out in the gym this morning. We're gonna have to find another way. No way to go left. In dumpster, there we go. Oh, look, we conveniently let's see a plank. No, but it's effective with turbine. I stopped putting that in my pocket. A convenient oil can. There should be a box of stew. Is it warm? No, dude, you could not eat the old, old box stew. Well, it looks like we actually have another hand, so. Okay. In position, no squeak this muscle, and we got it. Closed dumpster. Okay. That's the wheels oiled up. Let's push this into position, Dooley. Okay, Dooley, I'll go up over the wall and you can go through the sewer. Hopefully, that way one of us can save those people and stop the dawn from coming back, from being brought back. Have I don't me mentioned I don't like to- Not this time, buddy. The city needs us. I know. I mean, we could have definitely used that to make more fires. Hey, detective? Yeah. Be careful. You too, buddy. You do. I mean, I'm sure there are other ways that we could potentially use fires. Sewer gate. That way's blocked off by a huge gate. Secrets are you hiding, gate? It's all said and done, I'm going to launch an investigation into you. Call it Gate Gate. That's great. No doubt this is a secret bolt hole for government informants. Pipes. This is where the government pipes die hydrogen monoxide into our houses. Monsters. Little guy, what are you doing down here? Snarl, I'm watching my stories. Leave me be. Gator. Sewers. 
watching TV. Sort of checks out to me. Enjoy, enjoy, mister. Just keep your eye out for cannibals. Oh! Paper boat. That boat's not the only thing floating down here. This box holds all the power of the city. Electrical and political. Hi, Julie. Ain't you gonna say hello? One second there, guy. What's a clown doing down here? This isn't the circus. Uh, I give balloons to wayward kitties. Do you know? And uh, there's cotton candy and rides and all sorts of uh, surprises down here. Surprises? Did I mention the balloons come in all colors? Oh, I see no harm in any of this. Good on you for making those lost kids feel that those lost, making sure those lost kids aren't frightened. Um, thanks. As you were. You too. That's an interesting sign you have here. Uh, thanks. Wanna, what are you working on? Us, we're repairing the power lines. You've noticed all the flickering lights across the city recently? We're gonna, we're going to fix that. That sure is great. A great excuse. Do you think I'm an idiot? Um, I see your sign. That's an inverted eye. You guys are eye masons. Refrigerate. What? No, the other one. Freeze. I mean, I meant freeze. This is why so many of my t t TV dinners spoil. Drop your stuff and get out of here. I'd arrest you, but I've got places to be. What are you talking about? We're just here to... Resisting arrest, is it? Guess we gotta listen to the officer and take the rest of the day off, Tyrese. <sighs> sure, it'll be nice to get home to the family early for a change. Built in the wall. Wonder what nasty business they were up to. Digging a hole to the planet, th the planet hidden inside our planet. Or building a lair for the lizard people who secretly rule over us. Oh, I know. The, 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 the it reference is great. Maybe they're planning to sacrifice something to the mole men. Whatever it was, it's been thwarted. I'll confiscate this so they can't return to whatever shady business they were at. Devilish debris from a cutting foe. To a gate. This gate is blocking me from going any further. If only there was a way past it. I give you lemons, smash those lemons with a hammer, and then send the lemon carcasses back to back to life so it knows not to mess with you again. Meanwhile. Crushed by writer's block. Drowned in a stack overflow. <laughs> Painted himself into a corner. Nobody heard what happened to him. Eaten alive by bugs. We've been breached, charge! Ah, oh, wait! Crikey! Do apologize, I thought you were the hun. To munch on my brains for military secrets. But I can tell you now you're a Yankee boy. It's in this stance. Not rigid enough. Shoulders like melted ice cream on a sun on a sunny Sunday morning. Uh Can I help you, old bean? Who are you? Brigadier Original Smith. Smith to you, my friends. Also, I have no friends, no time for friends in the army, eh? Surely you're not still in the army. Well, dear chap, when you sign up, you sign up for life. How long have you been here? Blimey, I don't jolly well know. Crashed here as a young lad, took a job as a grave digger, as I wasn't a citizen. All oh, happened some time ago, I would imagine. Are you okay? Look like you've been through a lot. This? Just scratch. You should have seen the Hun when we were done with them. 
<laughs> Lilith keeps walking back and forth. Sorry about that. So you're a military man. Can you help me gear up for the fight? Help for the war of it. Sounds spiffy. I still need my military kit. Let's see. There's my mess tin. The things seem messy around here already. Water bottle, but it's been shot up. Brown sheet. Hmm. A sheet would probably be more use if it hadn't been ground up. It's not looking good, old chap. I'll tell you what. Take my gas mask. It's over there on the shelf. Thanks. Anything to stop Fritz in his tracks. Doodle bit. I'll be careful with that. Bobby still has some mustard gas cake into it. Where was that when I was hunting down those gremlins? Ah, a book to my size. Like a mole chap, they're yours. Belong to a sergeant of mine in the war. Oh, thanks. Wait a second. These aren't normal boots. They've got metal sockets in them. They have mechanic legs. Native special shoes so that would click on. So I have no use for them. Hmm, how generous. I saw like that poor form to comment on another men's piece, old chap. I'm afraid you can't have that, old chap. I need it to bash zombie Fritz, should he try to enter my bunker. Look here, yes, Slim, we've got a stray zombie. Yeah, stray. A few rounds to chase it off. Be thankful that he ain't got a horde to deal with. Yeah, horde. How many anything else I can use? Metal sock as I leave no room for feet. Maybe something else will click in. Oh. Water tower. I guess it's for excess water to run into the sewers. Scaffolding the structure. Pretty sturdy because of a piece like this could prove handy. Legs of the tower look badly damaged. We're gonna climb up anyway. This is before rainwater. World's least stable pair of stilts. Still, the extra height could be useful. This is before rainwater, so. The crime scene, eh, Moon? I think it's time we have a little talk talk down at the situation at the station. Front of the church. Brains. Can't pass by them. I gotta find a way to go over them and get through that broken window to get out of here before I get munched on. Well. Yeah, let's try these out. They can't get me all the way up here. The dark, so the dark side goons shot out the window giving me a handy way in. Agent McScream, what are you doing here? What are any of us doing in, doing anywhere? Helpful as ever. I need to save whomever is trapped in the bell tower, and then figure out a plan to get the crypt and stop the ritual. What are you doing? I circled the wounded, barked at the beasts that would feast upon carrion. That's still not helpful. I'm going to presume you mean- I'm here because the other darksiders are here. Presumption is the mother of dragons. What's going on here? What are you doing in the bright side? Ah, uh, my innards. Are you okay? The shots sound right in the gut. 
So it was you, Imic Scream, those goons were shooting at. The Arisan, breathing up from the inside, out I am. Fuck said bullets is not like yours. What with them being all full of cursed compartments and all as it were. What can I do to help? Can I remove the bullets? <clears throat> Actually, I used, I used a different accent for him before. Cannot be removed normally, son. I need some purified water to wash the badness out. I'll have a look around. You were then, son. Since it's full of old, caked in, moldy smelling incense. Candles, those candles are bigger than my head. Heavy duty shredder. It could probably even tear up clothes. Letter opener. Pens, letter openers, some rainy glasses with the lens popped out. I'll take the letter opener. Bell tower. Get back, demon bro! Great! Now I'm soaked. Harley, I thought you were a hollow head. A hollow head. Totally way better on my end, bro. Right? Do you have a towel I can borrow? Sorry for the washout, dude. What was that about? Hollow heads don't like holy water. My friend amigo. Turns them into mush burgers. Good to know. Came to save you, okay? Given the circumstances, are happy to be upside and not drown in a swell of undead. We need to get you out of here. If you can cause a break in that wave of undead, I can get myself out, dude. Mm, how will I do that? Like the surfer listens to the sea, maybe you should listen to the dead. That actually might work. Good idea. Lord speaks through me, Broseph. What's with all the sports gear? I meant to be going on an extreme sports holiday and I stayed to bless some babies. Bro, I will not make that mistake again. Could I- uh, can I have some holy water? Far out, dude! Happy to share the Lord's liquid. Don't say it like that. I'm way low now. Wasted my last wipeout on you. But you can have my dregs, but dude, it's not enough to mush a hollow. That's not what I need it for. Some assortment of uh, extreme sporting goods from scuba tanks to hang gliders and oddly face paints. Why do you have all this? Dude, I like extremes to the max and hit extremes to the max without painting your face. The scuba tank is a bust. I lost a mouthpiece. I'm gonna throw it out. <laughs> uh, mind if I take it? Sure, dude. Enjoy. What? Use this to wash out your wound. Much better. Thank you, son. Feeling better now? Much better. Ready to fight the forces of evil once more. <clears throat> I knew I was right about you. Good egg, that one. Alright, so, well, if you're in... I wonder if we can attach those. So, the mask should hold up as a breathe as, a, as an impression for the breathing apparatus for a few minutes at least. It's not safe to go back out there. Sounds like they're arguing. If only I could understand them. Alright, so... Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. Hey there, any chance of a miracle? Oh, right. right. So I can't exit as of yet. I 
nothing seems to be happening. Shiny bell. Thanks, I polished it myself. I spoke with Ghoulie. Is he still fester in the pits of agony? He's recovering now. Only if you consider getting better to be recovering. Right. Do you think you can teach me to talk to zombies? Are we not all in a way zombies? Listen closely. A few moments later. Huh. That was easier than I thought. Everything is easy for the ignorant. Hey, okay, let's find out what these zombies are saying. Okay, let's try this again. Brains, 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 brains. I seem to be angry and confused. If I could disguise myself as one of them, I think I could unionize them and lead them away from the church. I need to find my, myself a look and smell less alive. <laughs> Could you use your face paint to make me look undead? I can do that 110%, bro. Percents only go up to 100. 110, bro. 110. Fine. Sorry, Coat, but I need to make more on look more on deadish. Maybe I should be able to pass as one of them. Great. Brains. 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 Brains, brains, brains. Okay. They've agreed to unionize on a relationship. Time to go talk to the people who brought them back. Mamma Mia! It's a zombie horde! Run, Slim! Hey, yeah, yeah, run! Our key is going to drop these before running off. Stop right there. Too light, bright cider. Here I live. He is no zombie, he is a human, you fools. Braids. Oh no. Destroy him. Braids. So uh, this is how it ends. Not with the bang, but with me whimpering. Like this is about to give. Dooley! He's trapped under rubble with, with all those zombies. I need to save him. The priest said that holy water turned into mush. Where would I find enough of it? Magical paint. This must be the ritual paint taken from Wangs. They used it to paint markings and summon uh, corpse and soul into the Dawn's body. I don't understand why uh, floating need why a floating being needs a ladder to paint on the wall, but I'm glad they do it. This could make a passable walkway. Should get me across. This seems to be full of rainwater. Well. We just need somebody that can bless it. Find our dude friend. Dude priest friend. I 
I need you to bless the water tower. So, are you for real, bro? I've gotten all the undead into the sewers. We need to flush them fast. The way to be asked to churn over that much god juice, like, literally forever. You have a distinct way of talking about your faith. What can I say, bro? The Lord is my surf guy. We hang tight and hang often. And I want to bring the whole world out of waves with us. But we, the Lord and I, take safety, Macho Serioso. Take this life ring with you, in case you get caught up in the blood. Blood to wash the sinners away. Super biblical, bro. Super biblical. Dude, bro, I'm gonna do my thing, bro. May the big G be on your side. Bro, I'm all over this. Go do your thing. I'll be ready, bro. semi -colleges. why aren't they turning to eat him? Great. Yeah. Quickly, put this on, buddy. Okay. I'm too not in water to need this. Okay, Julia's ready. I'm ready. Are you ready up there, Father? Cowbunga! Take that as a yes. Best of luck, dude. I'm off to my vacay. Pedal's locked in place. The car is good to go. I hope my aim is true. Hey, Dooley, you okay there, buddy? <laughs> Feeling a little wet behind the ears, but I'm okay. Glad to hear it. Ah, you took my minions. I have to create ones. Start them with your friend. Cough. <laughs> Hold on, Dooley. Damn it, if there's only a way I can send the dawn back to the dark side. Copy the ritual markings onto this ring, turn it into a makeshift portal. I mixed one up. Let me see. It doesn't look like it. Uh, I don't see the bottom one. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so then that's it. Okay, then that's it. Let's go. I mean, is this something else I'm supposed to be doing here? I've also tried putting... Okay, that was weird. It just... Okay. My improvised portal is ready for use. Take careful aim. No! Got him! Enjoy your exile back to the dark side. You okay, Dooley? <laughs> All of Detective. Good! I was worried about you there for a minute, buddy. Let's get you out of those sewers. Let's see. Now then, now then, now then. Now then. We has we has arrested the rest of accompl his accomplices and locked them away. There's that's the voice I was looking for. These uh cooperated to it to reduce his sentence. Reverse ritual side effect that raised the dead in your city. Should be all that undead is back to the plain old dead now. Good. I had no idea how I was gonna fix that. That was crazy dangerous magic guy. I was young and innocent, easily misled. It happened a half hour ago. I've grown a lot in that time. A new man ready for parole, I'd say. Anyway. We owe you for for Leah's Bright Siders. You're welcome. I'd say any time, but let's make sure this never happens again, eh? Absolutely. Let's get to processing this lot, eh, Agent? Dick Brickman here with Detective McKing, who just received the medal for stopping the riots across the city. Can you tell me, Dick Brickman, then, the viewers of Dick Brickman, what happened, Detective? Well, there were riots across the city, and uh, now there aren't. <laughs> Light on the details there, Detective. Your wife is the mayor. Is that a conflict of interest? Nope. Well, there you have friends, no conflicts and one fancy medal. Congratulations to the detective. All that, and I can't believe he got a medal instead of you, Detective. They're saying that the water tower burst a few days prior and got tainted by dead bodies before leaking into the reservoir, giving everyone temporary madness. At least we know what happened. You're here, Detective. Thanks, buddy. That means a lot. So that was case number six, which was rather, which was pretty cool. I do like games with tongue-in-cheek humor like that. So I do very much appreciate the suggestion. And actually, this is one of the ones that was on my uh, wish list for a while and then I saw um, uh, I saw a couple people actually streaming this one um, which either Tar or Devonomaniac were play uh, one of you two were streaming it and I was like okay yeah this seems like it's gonna be up my alley to be both spoopy and ridiculous Oh, best boy. <laughs> Devin Turner, boy who is just okay does buzz to weep. Oh yeah, it's so ridiculous, but I really enjoy it. Plenty of humor, some really good puns in there. Which rundown likely ignored. No pixels were harmed in making this game. Some wrists were carpal tunneled, however. Any resemblance to actual persons living or dead or actual events is purely coincidental. 
Even the guy who you are pretty sure you met on that budget cruise at one time. Any photos you have with him in it are fictional and possibly burned for prosperity. I definitely enjoy when you have games that also don't take itself seriously and break those fourth walls. And there goes Priest Man. Very cool. Oh, check this out. We have some bonus uh, bonus case. However, we've been going for a little bit. It's about, been about two and a half hours. So, I am going to go ahead and raid out, and then that way, next Thursday, we will have what looks like three more cases to do. So, we will have another stream for Dark Side Detective. Very much appreciate people popping in and hanging out for a bit. Uh, again, I find these games to be silly and fun, and I always enjoy having them around. Um, and let's see, who do we have hanging out and playing around? Actually, uh, let me make sure this person, that this isn't a... Um, okay, they are live. Okay, so we're going to have some fun re retro silliness and go... Because I haven't got to raid him in quite a bit. Um, we're going to go... Yeah, I know. Hey, I mean, it could be worse. It could be like uh, when I tried to do play horror games and I don't have the crazy like reactions like a lot of people do to horror games. <laughs> there are times I feel like I disappoint the audience with, with uh, horror games because I don't like... Sometimes I'll get hit with a jump scare, but I don't have the same reactions as a lot of other people do. <laughs> But, um, yes. We're going to raid Daniel William Clark. He's playing some retro wrestling games. But he's got, he's got, a, he's got um, a pretty fun community. And he's still also somebody else that, well, he's very entertaining. It's still a very chill, fun place to go. So we're going to give him a raid tonight. Uh, I will be back on Tuesday for more Prey. I'm not exactly sure how what 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 is um, how long that particular game is because it is a blind playthrough so far, um, but obviously that's still our Tuesday game for a while, for a little while longer. And as we know, we have Dark Side Detective for one more week, so I'll see you all on Tuesday for Prey, and then on Thursday we will be back here again for for the bonus cases for Dark Side Detective. So. Oh, don't worry. There will be plenty more streams because I have other games that will definitely be played soon. So, yeah, it's like I I don't get, I don't have like major startles and stuff like that. Like sometimes I'm like ew, gross. Like from some of the stuff that comes up, but yes. And thank you all for showing up. I appreciate it. And again, let's go give. Even if you don't stick around, please give Daniel William Clark. A hello and a, and a, yay thank you like you know hey how you doing so yes I will and I will talk to you all later uh, again Tuesday for more prey and Thursday for bonus cases for dark side detective later